2013 is here. It brings a renewed commitment to a worthy set of goals, your New Year's resolutions. So you might be surprised to learn that home buyers should also be making real estate New Year's resolutions. Here to explain why, we have our Wink News real estate expert, Denny Grimes, in this morning. You got to be thinking ahead. I guess that's your advice for the new year, right? That's right. Make and, some goals. And happy new year. Yeah, the uh, most common resolutions deal with losing weight, uh, starting something good, quitting something bad, like right. drinking and smoking. Mm -hmm. But, but home, home buyers should set some resolutions this year to take advantage of the market while they can. And they're almost identical to the typical resolutions. So these are my uh, 2013 real estate resolutions that buyers should take advantage of. And your number one choice is don't wait anymore. Lose the weight. You, you got to lose the weight, W-A-I-T. And the bottom line is that there is no excuse, none, no good excuse for not buying now. Interest rates, I can't imagine them getting lower. Right. Prices are rising and have been for the last couple of years. Inventories falling. Sellers are, are becoming less flexible. And new construction has never been cheaper. So um, there, there's no reason to wait. If you want to get in and, and, and buy, now is the year. Now, I know if you look back, you think, well, I could have got a better buy last year. But you've got to forget about that because if you buy this year, 2013, you'll be glad you did. Right. In a sense, you missed the opportunity of those really, really, really great deals. And that's kind of your next one is to not uh, worry about holding out for that smoking, smoking deal. deal. Yeah, quit smoking. And, 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 you know, and I hear people hear these great deals that their friends got a year or so ago. And, you know, the smoking deals really don't exist. And that opportunity knocked on their door three and a half years ago when our market was at the bottom. And so, and they didn't recognize it. They didn't answer the door. So if the smoke and deals are gone, then they have to settle for something else. And so basically, our market still offers good deals because you can buy less than you can build. It's still irrational. So in, instead of looking for the great deals, be, be happy with the good deals. And I imagine there's still plenty of good deals, and, and maybe a really good one will pop up every now and then in this market. Yeah, every now and then you find a ruby, but yeah, there's still great buys in this market relative to rational value. So they, they should, they should, you know, quit looking for that once in a lifetime deal because that, that's gone already. All right, and you want people to quit drinking too. <laughs> quit drinking the Kool Aid. That's right, because there is a, uh, a faction out there of folks who believe the worst is yet to come, and the banks are holding millions of homes, and they're going to uh, drop them into the market all at one time, and then prices are going to plummet to lower levels than we saw at, at, at the bottom of the market. And you know what? There's just no evidence at all that that's going to happen. And so I would recommend to those folks is that you know they, they quit listening to that and take advantage of the market they have now, because... Um, we see no evidence. Banks have learned, and there's still some shadow inventory out there, but they're renting them out, they're trickling them in, and they're putting no downward pressure on the market. And, and that's really true for most price segments. And you know, the, the banks know if they just flood the market, it's going to hurt more than it's going to help. That's right. Um, can I just ask you, do, you know, would you, do the positive trends for 2013 uh, can, from last year continue into this year? Those, you know, the, the good rates, the good prices, the good sales numbers? Yes, I think, I, I think there's still positive momentum in a real estate market. Uh, the inventory is down, which is good for pricing. Pricing is going to go back up. And the other thing, which is not really related to the sales of homes, that the building permits are actually going up, which is a plus for our local economy because nothing stimulates our economy more than a building permit being pulled. Well, that's good news then. Thanks, Denny. Appreciate your advice and coming in. We'll be right back to update top stories, weather and traffic.